Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about Indian Jones or something like that. I don't know, I haven't watched the anime. Hi everyone, I'm Lorenzo and in this video I'm going to talk about all Indiana Jones games on the Wii. Lego Indiana Jones is fantastic, just like Lego games usually are. If you're new to the franchise, the Lego games try to recreate the source material in a very child-friendly and funny way. You can switch between characters in a level, usually levels are played in two. There are 82 playable characters, each with different abilities, you solve puzzles, but don't worry, since it's a kid's game, the puzzles are easy to solve. And the game covers the first three movies. And from personal experience, I can say that the game is great for both kids and adults. Indiana Jones The Staff of Kings is a nice try. You can see that someone made an effort with the game, but the end result isn't that great. The best part about the game are the graphics, but in rest, the game isn't all that great. The use of motion controls seem logical on a Wii game, and there are times where motion controls make sense, but it feels like they put motion controls everywhere just for the sake of motion controls. Most of the time, the use of motion controls is more annoying than fun. Also, the game has plenty of bugs and glitches, even game-breaking ones, like destruction animations not activating, or enemies freezing, or your Wii freezing and you have to pull the cord out and restart the Wii again. You get even bosses that freeze, or people that walk through solid objects. The game is a mess in this area. As for the gameplay, you can split it in three sections. Hand-to-hand -hand combat sections, here you use the motion controls to fight enemies, and the use of the motion controls makes this section tiresome, especially since the controls don't feel well integrated. But the combat itself is okay, you can grab enemies, grab them with Indy's whip and attack them while they are on the floor, you can throw enemies into the environment for extra damage. Then the second section are the shooting sections, which feel great, especially since the graphics are so good and the controls are good too. And the last type of section are puzzles. And I like that the puzzles are more laid back. You don't have to do extreme stuff. They are puzzles you would see Indy do in a movie. Also the motion controls in puzzles are good. So yeah, the game has some upsides. But mostly the game is bad because of the bugs and glitches and because of the motion controls that weren't that well integrated in the game and feel like a burden. And LEGO Indiana Jones 2 has the same LEGO formula but this time the story recaps the first three movies in a different fashion and it also recaps and focuses on the fourth movie. As a difference between the two games is that in the second game the levels are bigger and this is not necessarily something better since many times you don't know what you have to do in them. Also in this one you can drive vehicles, but the missions that force you to bash into stuff to destroy vehicles aren't fun. And another tweak to the formula is that now you are swarmed by enemies in some levels and it doesn't feel fitting to the source material to get swarmed by so many enemies nor does it feel good as a game mechanic. The first game doesn't have these improvements and in my opinion and in the opinion of other reviewers the first game is better. 